Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets, and today I just wanted to cover some information about how to use the linear gradient. Now, the linear gradient tool used to be called the graduated filter, and it works in a very similar way as the graduated filter did. Um, but Adobe made some changes, and now all of the filters and brushes that we were used to using are now located over here in the masks panel. So if I click on this circular icon with the dotted outline, it's going to open all of my other masks that I have, have, have applied to this image. And if I haven't applied any masks, then it's going to open a little um, drop down that asks me to pick which mask I want to use. So a linear gradient is a an adjustment that is applied in a linear way. So I'm going to click on create new mask up here and I'm going to choose linear gradient. And then I'm just going to click and drag over my image. And you can see that there are some white lines on there. This is showing where the linear gradient is being applied. And if I tap the O key, oh, it's already there. Perfect. Um, it's going to show my overlay. And you can see that um, the red is more concentrated on the left side of my image, and it gradually fades away as we move to the right side of the image. So it's more concentrated over here and gradually fades away as we get to this other line. Now I can move my graduated, or excuse me, my linear gradient. I can pull it in a little bit more, I can move it out. And I can even rotate it a little bit here by just hovering over that middle line and looking for the rotation arrow to appear. And then I just move it or rotate it however I want. So usually when I'm applying a linear gradient, it's because I want to either affect something kind of in a linear way. And I usually use it either to apply something to the outer edges of my image or on a landscape image where there's kind of a natural um, horizontal horizon line. So on this image, I want to add just a little bit of warmth to the image. And I've already set my, my white balance and I've gotten it pretty close on the skin tones, but they need to be a little bit warmer. So right now I'm applying Baby Warm Up Baby um, from our baby collection. And I've just drug or clicked and dragged a linear gradient from the left side. And now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do something really fancy that this new tool allows us to do. And I'm gonna click Here's my mask that I just added. I'm going to click on Add. And now I'm going to choose the Linear Gradient tool again. And I'm going to click and drag on this edge of my image, about over to where the middle of my other Linear Gradient was. And I'm going to apply it to this other side. Now, um, up here, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn off what I've just done. And you'll notice that I've added quite a bit of warmth to the outside of my image. This is the before, and then this is the after. And this helps warm up her skin tones just a little bit, not a ton, but it warms up pretty much the whole image um, how I want it to. So if we click over here, I've got another, um, this was just an iPhone photo that I took on a trip. And I'm going to show you how, with this image, how you can use it on a landscape image. So if I come over here um, and click on this, the masks icon, I'm going to be able to choose the linear gradient. And here I've already applied a preset, but I noticed that it darkened the trees in the foreground quite a bit. And I just want to brighten those up a little bit. So I am going to click and drag from the bottom up to the, the horizon line. And right now my preset is set to warm up baby, which I don't really need for this. I'm not gonna warm up, but I'm gonna click on this, the words next to effect here. 
and it's going to bring up a bunch of other presets that I have saved in here. And these are all my pretty presets brushes, but they can be used for linear gradients, radial gradients, or brushes. Um, they can be used for any of those. So I'm going to come over, I'm just going to choose one that says add light. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to look, in for the, look for that to brighten it up a little bit. But then I'm going to make some of my own adjustments too. I'm going to come over here and just open up my shadows just a little bit more because I want to see a little bit more of that detail in the trees and then maybe add just a little bit of warmth to that because it's a little bit cool and those mountains look a little little bluer than maybe I want them to. So you can see how a linear gradient would be perfect for a landscape image because I'm really just working with that natural horizon that's already here in a landscape image and I'm applying something either to the foreground or I could also apply an adjustment to the sky if I wanted to too, if I wanted to make it more blue or or affect it in any way like that. So hopefully this helps you get the most out of Lightroom.